Guess who's back? Back again. It is I. I am back. If that was meant to be you rapping that Eminem song, Jizzy Joe, then Jesus Christ, you don't deserve to wear those gold chains. In his defense, Barry, we don't want to get a copyright strike or anything bad again, so it's best if he raps like garbage. But anyway, welcome to the video. Everyone remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, boys, we're almost 10 episodes in, and today I hope Joe will make it to the city with the seventh gym today. I bet Jizzy Joe will clean up in that place faster than normal Joe, too. Oh, trust me, Barry, man, I'm back and prime direct the gym leaders. Whoever the seventh guys will feel my wrath. And would you two mind telling me what the hell is going on here? I think Bede was just attacked by Opal. I did not see that one coming, boys. I think she needs to be locked up with the key thrown away. Well, it seems she's now questioning him, Donald. This woman is indeed batshit insane, and I agree she should be thrown into the distortion world with the portal key thrown away. Hey, don't stick her with Jaratina for eternity. Poor guy wouldn't want some mad women climbing all over him and dressing him up with pink colors. Talking of mad, here is Sonia, which Obama is about to be mad about as usual. Although she do be looking quite ravishing today, if I do say so myself, LMFAO. Hey, I think there was just an explosion, Joe, so you better protect my dear Sonia. She must be protected at all costs. It was probably some Gigantamax Pokemon in a battle berry calm down. I would have thought those kind of sounds would be common in Galar with all the Pokemon going giant size like that. That could also be true, Joe, but I don't think that sound was one of a Gigantamax Pokemon and more like a bomb going off or something. But hey, it's not like Chairman Rose has an underground power plant that could explode at any point, is it? Hold that thought, Donald. But anyway, Leon has showed me to see what's going on, too. So I guess he's just wandering about, doing nothing as usual. He's doing more than our rival ever is, though. I bet the guy still has weak-ass Pokemon like always. I wonder if any of his Pokemon even evolved since the last time I battled him. Some have Joe, but looks like we're going to meet him outside the town for a battle so you can see for yourself which new Pokemon he is, not that it should be a challenge for you anyway. Well, the next gym definitely won't be difficult, so I guess I could use this battle with Hop as a warm-up one. Although I bet I'd break more of a sweat if I battled a level one Magikarp. And his first Pokemon is a Trevenant from the Kalos region. A solid Pokemon, actually, and it's a ghost and grass type as well. Okay, I can't even remember him having this since the last time we battled him, but either way, it's an easy Pokemon for us to take out, especially with Mr. Mime. Hey, Hop just said the way I battle reminds him of Leon, which is clearly not true because I'm far superior than Leon ever is and ever will be too. Leon doesn't even have one gold chain whilst I have five. Okay, and his second Pokemon he is now is a Heatmer, a solid Pokemon from the Unova region. I swear this guy is Pokemon from almost everywhere by the looks of it. Heatmore is a good Pokemon, yeah, Donald, and its stats are pretty good right away since it doesn't evolve, although it would be cool if they gave it one. He has a team of five Pokemon now, though, and the last time I battled him, he had like three. At least our boy here is developing his team and using pretty decent Pokemon, too, unlike the other rivals we faced. We need people to make a list of some of the best rivals in the Pokemon series, boys. I think Blue would probably be at the top of that. Yeah, Blue would definitely be at the top of that list, Donald, and then I'd maybe put Hugh or Barry next. They're both pretty decent rivals as well. Hey, check it out, you two. I am really cleaning up in this battle. Hop evolved this small electric doggo into that Bolton, which was weak as hell anyway. My blood pressure is always lower when Jizzy Joe is in the videos, Obama. I don't know about you. It always feels good to know we will actually win some battles, LMAO. True that Donald, I agree. And our Mr. Mime has literally taken out his entire team with the move pool we have on it. And I think we have you to thank for that, too. Okay, well, you spoke to soon, Obama. I blame its death on you. But either way, we'll still win. We always have Rillaboom to clean up any spilt milk, boys. It's definitely going to be the MVP of this game for sure. And then when we've beaten every game, we should make a video showing off the best Pokemon we used. Actually, Donald, we have a plan for a different type of video when this series is done, which we'll release to members first. So if you want to have a sneak peek, then consider joining the channel. Hey, even, I don't know anything about this video, Obama, so you better give me heads up about it so I can start writing out the script. Unfortunately, Jizzy Joe will probably have your counterpart dumbass in that video since we will need to hear his ridiculous opinions, which is actually a little clue about what that video will be. And I think that's a good point for you to stop talking, Donald, before you give anything else away. And instead, we can talk about the fact that we just got sat on by a Snorlax. Yeah, our man here has a Snorlax now, too. And if the normal Joe was here, then I'd have made some joke about how they're both the same since all they do is sleep. 
And with that, I just beat our rival yet again, everyone. What a clean sweep of a battle. This was up until Barry jinxed my ass, and now we have to go revive Mr. Mime. And in other news, our Umbrian is learning Dark Pulse, which is a solid Dark type move, although Umbrian has never been known to have good attacking stats. Yeah, but did you see its special defense, Obama? It was mad high, just like how I'll be after this series is done with Joe playing. Just to clarify, that's the other Joe and not your boy Jizzy Gangster Rapper Joe, who's playing the game right now. All right, I think Hop did you a solid and revived our team, so that was nice of him. And now the dude is telling us to head to the next town, being Surchester, where our next gym badge is. And with that slick transition, we're already almost here, boys. I want to head straight into that gym with Rillaboom and destroy it, Jizzy Joe. Yeah, I want to do that too, Obama. I feel like there's nothing else for us to do here, but if we have missed any cool items or anything of interest, then please leave a comment below. And talking of comments, we have to give a shout out to the viewer in the last episode who gave us the coolest fact in our opinion. That's right, Donnie, and the shout out for this video goes to Ryuga527 with this fact about spiky-eared Pikachu being one of the rarest Pokemon ever. It's so rare that I haven't even heard about it, Obama, so could one of you please tell me some information about it whilst we get on with this gym challenge? I can tell you about it, Joe, since I have like a 100 of them in my Pokemon bank storage system, and don't even ask how I did that because it's confidential. Okay, sweet, we just got a moon ball from the ball guy who's always a pleasure to deal with, but yeah, go on, Donald. <laughs> please tell us about spiky-eared Pichu. Well, Barry, it was only ever available in Heart Gold and Soul Silver with an event and you can't even trade it out of there, so that's what makes it even rarer. If you can't take it out of those games, Donald, then how did you get it into your Pokemon Bank storage system? I told you not to ask me questions about it, Joe, because it's all off the books confidential stuff, bro. And that also concludes my TED Talk on spiky-eared Pikachu. And now we can begin the gym challenge, boys. So basically, in this challenge, for the people who couldn't be bothered to read everything, all we have to do is not fall into the pitfall traps. And you go and jinx me again, Barry, with your comments. The first thing I go and do is fall into one, but at least this shows everyone following along what not to do. Oh yeah, we've seen so many people comment that they've been playing the game along with us. But please bear in mind, this isn't a walkthrough and we're not very good at the game either. Yeah, if anything, we ask the viewers for tips about the game since most of them know way more than we do, but it's still all fun in the end. And the first trainer in this gym has a boulder, a solid Pokemon, and when it evolves into a Gigalith, it's even cooler. Gigalith is definitely a cool Pokemon, Joe, but there is nothing cool about Pokemon getting stuck behind trade evolutions, especially if you have no friends. Yeah, and the only friends we have are each other and Joe, and I don't trust Donald to trade the Pokemon. We want to evolve back with us. Well, apparently Jizzy Joe is navigating just as well as normal Joe does with all the falling he's doing in the gym right now. Hey, I made it past the first section, didn't I, Donald? So you got to cut me some slack here, bro. I think I did really well there, you know. Well, that was only the first stage, Joe, and now this one is even bigger, look. You're going to have to navigate and take it all really slow so we don't end up going back to the start. And as you said, all that Barry, he fell down two holes in a space of about 10 seconds. So, yeah, this is going to go well, isn't it? Oh my God, this is so frustrating, boys. And it doesn't help that I have you two blabbering in my ears telling me what to do. That's because you're trash at navigating, dude. I told you in the beginning, you gotta take it nice and slow to begin with. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. At least he's made it to the next trainer battle, Barry. And this time we're battling a Crustle, which is a Pokemon from the Unova region. Seelan had this in the anime, and it was as solid as a rock. This was certainly wasn't as solid as a Rock Donald. I one-shot it with Energy Ball like it was nothing, but I still like the Pokemon. The one thing I like about this whole gym, guys, is the fact that none of the opponents have the sturdy ability, which means we aren't wasting time with these battles. Yeah, please stop talking, Obama, because you've probably gone and jinxed that as well now. All right, trainer battle number three in the gym, and let's see what our boy Oliver has here. Oh, hey, Joe, you got to be careful with this Pokemon, because even though it's a rock type, it's also a fire type, too, which means our monkey could get taken out. Thanks for that heads up, Obama, but I doubt this particular one is the one we'll need to worry about. I have a feeling the gym leader will have one of these to counter grass type Pokemon. Well, you say that, Joe, but it won't do very well against water type, so I bet the gym leader will have something interesting in store for us. And here we go again with the falling down boys. This is seriously starting to get old, now you know. Well, maybe if you'd pay more attention to the dowsing rods. Joe, this wouldn't be happening as often. They're literally warning you where each hole is, yet you keep falling into them. 
Okay, wow, he made it finally, but this last sector is the absolute worst, guys. There's like this sandstorm covering the whole thing, which means Joe will be falling a lot as usual. Well, it's not helping that I have these super cool sunglasses on, boys, but I can't take them off, otherwise I'll look like a peasant. It's either look like a peasant for a few seconds, Joe, or spend the rest of your life falling down into these holes. You keep saying holes, Obama, and it's reminding me of that stupid book we had to read in English class, remember? about that guy who was sent into the desert to dig holes for some reason. Hit the like button if you read that book too and know what we're talking about. That book literally made me want to find a cliff and jump off it. Hey, I actually like that book a lot, boys. The world building and everything in it was so good and I really connected with the characters too. Yeah, well, you would, wouldn't you, Obama LMFAO? But anyway, Joe finally found a trainer in this sandstorm, so let's clean up this one too, buddy. Yep, Trainer Wendy here has sent out another awesome Pokemon being Sotoudo, but sadly it's going to die just like all its brethren in here. Oh, for God's sake, here we go with Sturdy. Me and my big mouth is at it again with the jinxing. I must have psychic powers or something, boys. And that rock slide actually did a significant amount of damage to us, Obama, so once again, thanks to you, we're losing. It's fine, Donald. I'll get it now with another energy ball. And hopefully after this trainer, we won't have any more to deal with except the gym leader. I'd maybe swap out Energy Ball for a more physical attacking move, Joe, since our attack on Rillaboom is much higher than our special. That's the most useful thing you've said in this entire video, Obama. Holy hell, but yeah, Jizzy Joe, you better get on that. And if you don't, then I can always call up the Russians to swap some moves out. I'm really struggling to get through here, Donald, let alone worry about what moves to teach Rillaboom right now. Well, you're actually listening to me, Joe, and following what the dousing rods are showing you. So hopefully all the falling is over for now. Oh my God, we've almost made it through this god-awful gym puzzle, everyone. This has to be in the top three worst gym puzzles in any Pokemon game ever. Hey, that's a good question for the viewers too, Donald. Please leave a comment below letting us know which gym puzzle you think is the worst out of every game. Hell yeah, guys, I did it. We've made it to the end and now it's time to take on the gym leader who I still have no idea what his name is. Well, we're about to find out, Joe, so let's get the show on the road and crush him with Rillaboom. And then we'll get our sixth gym badge, I think. Okay, so this guy is called Gordy, apparently, boys, and looks like he's also trying to upstage you with those sunglasses. First of all, that's not how you pronounce his name, Obama. And second of all, this guy looks like something from Terminator. Yeah, I think we can all agree here who has the better fashion sense in this gym battle, as well as whose Pokemon is the strongest, too. Well, his first Pokemon is in fact weak to grass and eight times weak as well, since that barbarical Pokemon is water and rock type. And what a great way to start this gym battle off Jizzy Joe. We one shot that barnacle thing into oblivion, but now let's see what he has in store for us. Okay, Mr. Terminator dude has sent out a shuckle. I never expected a gym leader to use one of these, but here we are. And as expected, it managed to tank our energy ball Joe. This Pokemon has God-tier defenses stats, and then if you combine it with Trick Room, it's pretty nasty. I highly doubt the gym leader will have a Trick Room Shuckle Donald, and if it did do that, then its defenses would be weak, meaning we could easily one-hit KO it. Well, this next move should be enough to deal with Shuckle Boys, which means we're three-quarters of the way through this battle. We're halfway through the battle, Joe, you dummy. Like normal Joe Biden, Jizzy Joe can also apparently not count to four. At least he can battle like a proper champion Donald, unlike normal Joe, who battles worse than youngster Joey. Hey, hang on a sec, boys. The stone Pokemon thing just used Wonder Room, and I missed the message telling us what it does. Something to do with swapping the defense and special defense around Joe, it's probably not a big deal considering you took that guy out in one move. And look what his last Pokemon is, Joe. I told you the gym leader might have one of these fire rock type things, and you didn't listen. And it's level 42 as well. It's stronger than our entire team, but I doubt I'll lose to this thing, even though I know he's going to Gigantamax it. And you decide to let your ego get the better of you, Jizzy Joe, and you decide not to Gigantamax whilst you let the gym leader. Yeah, I agree with Donald Joe. You should have maybe Gigantamaxed earlier unless you're doing the strat of waiting a turn or two. Have faith in me, boys. I got this. And did you see how much damage Rillaboom did to that Colossal in normal form? That's fine, Joe, but please Gigantamax Rillaboom. We know you're a good trainer and all that, but I wouldn't risk it. Nah, I trust Jizzy Joe to do the right thing, Donald. We're almost done here, and he's not stupid enough to let all our hard work go to waste. OK, I'll listen to you both, since your blabbering will only piss me off, and also Rillaboom was about to get taken out, too. 
I feel like out of every Pokemon on our team so far, we've seen Rillaboom Gigantamax the most because it's just so goaded. Wow, and that Colossal somehow survived that hit, too. I swear I'll be annoyed if Gym Leader uses a Hyper Potion or something. Nah, he's just trying to take us out with Fire-type moves, even though this is a Rock-type Gym, which makes no sense. I swear the last guy we battled was the Fire Leader of Galar. Okay, and he did, in fact, take out Rillaboom, which I didn't see coming. Holy hell. So now what's the plan, Joe? Well, we have our trusty old shiny Pupitar to deal with this cold Pokemon thing. To be honest, I thought we could have won the battle with Rillaboom, too. Well, it's not your fault the gym leader was having an identity crisis, Joe, and decided to become the second Fire-type leader of Galar. And that concludes the battle, boys. Well done, Jizzy Joe. You dealt with this gym the best you could, and we're glad to have our sixth or seventh gym badge now, too. Yeah, I think this guy was the sixth gym leader of the Galar region, Donald, which means we only have two left. I don't know if I'll be here for them, but let's enjoy this W. A.W. indeed. Joe, well done. You proved you're the better trainer than this idiot gym leader, and also you do definitely have better fashion sense than him as well, L.M.L. Okay, and with that, let's end the episode here, everyone. So thank you for watching, and please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my appearance in the episode, and hopefully I'll be back again soon. This game is really fun. And it seems like Sonya wants to see us too, so that's the first thing we'll be doing in part 10. Everyone, check out the playlist in the description if you want to see our other content too.